Hey bugs and welcome back, welcome back. Let's turn that up a little bit. Jade Fallon, how are you? Hope all is well with you. Stories with Suleiman. 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 Today we are going to read the big yard sale. David learns how to treat customers. Written by award-winning poet Tariq Torre and illustrated by Anika Sabri. Nice. And I got this uh, from Reading is Freedom. Turn up. Shouts to them. ABC, abcread.org. Tap in. All praises are due to Allah, the Most High. One Saturday morning, David was shook by noise. Startled and shocked, he checked his toys. Could he have left his fire truck or was it his speaker playing a song? Then he heard more and to his surprise, nearly all his neighbors were all outside. What is this? The thought crossed his mind. He rushed to get dressed to find out why. Fast out the bathroom, he plopped on his kufi, then struggled with his shoestrings hanging loosely. He stood on the porch and scoped the scene. Neighbors with tables, but what does it mean? David ran over to Jana's lawn. Her family's odds and ends were piled on. David searched the table and in awe, her father sold his new saw, his favorite saw. Oh, it's like a rhyme. That's why I'm like reading it weird. David said, Psst, Jana, come, come here. Your pops uses that saw every year. Jana said, Shh, I know, I know, but today's the yard sale. It had to go. Mostly everyone is selling something today, and when people need things, they'll surely pay. David's eyes went wide as the moon. He said, even I'll sell stuff soon. But the last thing he wanted was to put part, was to part with a toy. So he sat there stumped. Boy, oh boy. David went pouting through the house. Hours went by, no figuring out. Then a smell came that moistened, moistened his mouth. Mommy's baking, without a doubt. So she's sitting here mixing with a mixer right in front of her. Nice. The kitchen smells sweet, sticky, and blazing. It's mommy's rose, it's mommy's rose cinnamon raisin. She said, no, David, I'm running a test. These are for the bakery to see what's best. Mommy's rose cinnamon raisin? David said, no worry, I won't eat one, but please give me a five. Please give me five. I want to sell some. David's mommy said, hmm, sure indeed. With the right attitude, you'll succeed. And with gratitude, you cannot fail. I can't wait to see you, to see your first yard sale.
Let's set you up so you're ready and able to bring tons of customers to your table. They spent the hour getting odds and ends to have their display reel them in. With a short time, David was up and running. David said, just wait, a customer's coming. Then up walks Sister Nora, money in hand. But as quick as she came, she left the stand. They put cinnamon buns on the sign, not not rose cinnamon raisin. <laughs> David asked, Mommy, how'd I fail? Did I do everything right to make a sale? Mommy said, Sweetheart, I'm proud you're trying a lot, but here's one thing maybe you forgot. Before a buyer will ever want to taste, they'll have to meet your smiling face. It's the first from our attitude that ever shows it's a form of charity we'll always know just look over there at brother Naeem he sells and sells with his pearly sheen why he could sell if he was sleep if he could keep showing those shiny teeth. David said, well, I'll give it a try. He was smiling so much he closed his eyes. Brother Jabril stopped in a minute. David thought the smile must have did it. Brother Jabril asked, could I have them warmed? David smiled, no, and off he stormed. David asked, Mommy, how'd I fail? Did I do everything right to make a sale? If there's anything I've learned in my bakery life is that the customer is always right. You're getting so close to be a, to be a selling champ, we can make them warm with a heating lamp. See Sister Khadija selling her beads? She'll search the earth for the color they need. Now David's rose glistened and his smile was wide. Surely not one single buyer could hide. Imam Musa approached with his son Shahid. David smiled and said, Unk, I got what you need. They're warm and gooey and ready to go. Imam Musa said, you know I know. I'll take every last cinnamon roll. They won't make it past our stroll. David had never moved so fast. Before they could blink, the rows were bagged. See ya, David said with a joyful smirk. He was excited that finally a sale had worked. But when he turned around, he found his mother sad. David asked, we sold what could be so bad. He still has six of them in the pan. David asked, Mommy, how did I fail? I did everything right to make a sale. She sat down and said, Attitude is a reflection of our gratitude and thankfulness we can never lose. We give every penny its proper due. I'm happy you sold, surely I am. But when that money touched your hand, it was the perfect time to say, Thank you to the customer who came to pay. Sellers who aren't grateful won't go far, and our gratitude shows who we truly are. That is a really good lesson there. Always say thank you. David, <clears throat> David ran down the block and stopped Uncle Musa as he shopped. David said, thank you for buying mine. Uncle M Musa said, you've made my day this time. For the rest of the day, David sold and sold, following the advice his mother told. After every sale, he whispered to himself, attitude, gratitude, surely has helped.
All right, T. Everybody, please be good. Not bad. And I love you.